Good morning. Today we're tying a little brown trout bucktail streamer. This is a fly originally tied by my father several decades ago. He used yellow, white, yellow, and brown, looks like in that order, with a brown tail and a brown beard on a size 10 hook. Found some early reference to it in a Dan Bailey catalog. From 1971 that I have that was originally my father's catalog saying that it was tied on a size 10 to 2 hook so got as small as they recommend size 10 the thread I'm going to use is Danville 70 denier and I'm going to use it in brown light brown here I know my father tied it up in black, but he used pretty much black back in the day for everything. As did a lot of the old time tires. So tie, we'll wrap your thread all the way back to the top of the bend of the hook, but do not go past the bend. Wrap it back forward a couple turns. Tell you're going to tie in is I have this olive brown hackle from a saddle strip off a couple bar wheels that wasn't enough kind of slipped out of my finger a little bit let's do that again I'm going to take about uh, a dozen or so the length I want is about the shank length it right on top, give it a wrap, tie it in, pulling the tail towards you, wrapping back toward the camera. Do not go past the bend of the hook and wrap it back up forward, trying to capture everything in. You want to keep everything even on the body, that way you don't have any lumps or bumps when you tie in the next material which is going to be copper wire copper wire I'm using is from an old motor that I salvaged something my father did exclusively I don't think he ever bought copper, copper wire took it out of a old motor of some sort this is actually ultra thin stuff very very nice stuff I've tested it and has not corroded on me. So place the wire right in behind the eye of the hook. Wrap it in. You want the wire right on top of the hook shank. So wrap it back holding it right on top. Wrap it back all the way to the base of the tail. You want to hide all the thread on your first wrap. That should be far enough. Wrap your thread back forward. To right behind the eye. Now with your first turn, make sure you, you do your best to hide all the thread. And with touching turns, wrap your wire toward the front. I found it easiest way to do it is keep some pressure on the wire with the tip of my finger touching the previous wrap. A little easier, I think, with a rotary vise this way. If you find one that you didn't get as tight as you want, don't be afraid to undo it. Do it again. As your thread wraps up, go ahead and unwrap it a little bit. You can put it on a bobbin rest with a half hitch. 
tied into your thread but I find it just as easy just to take my time wrap it up and then unspiral the thread as I go And when you get near the front, you're going to leave it right about one eye length behind the eye. Get that last wrap in there nice. Get a little sloppy there. About like that. Take your thread up and over. Tie it off a few times. Take your copper wire, give it a helicopter, break it away, get a few more thread wraps to secure it. Now you're going to tie in your bucktail. Bucktail I have is the basically the tips of the tail. To find this to be the finest hair. This actually this yellow bucktail is probably the coarsest hair that I have in this bunch. But we're gonna try to make it work. I have yellow or white, yellow, and brown in that order. And I want it to extend just past the tail. So laying it right on top. That one's a little long. I'm going to take that one out. Laying it right on top to the length you want it. Pinch your bucktail in between your fingers. And we're going to do a pinch wrap. Best way to do a pinch wrap is grasp your material, pinch with the inside section of your finger, open it up your fingernail section, bring the thread right in between, and once you grasp the thread, pull it straight down. Give it another wrap, and everything should be right on top. Give it a couple more wraps before I show you, because it will come undone if I don't. I made that mistake before. There. Right on top. Cut away your excess butt ends. Wrap everything in. Make yourself a little head. And now we're going to flip over the fly. Alright, now we're going to add a beard. The beard we're going to have is the same feathers, or the same barbels that we use for the tail. You're going to take a rather large pinch. About, uh, let's go about 15 to 20 of these barbels. Line up the tips, strip them away. Lay the tips right under the point of the hook, bring your hand up underneath of the hook and bring your thread up through, pinch it and straight down. Give it a wrap. Make sure everything's lined up before you let it go. It's a little harder to do a pinch wrap this way but if you take your time you'll get her. And there you go. I'll pull those down in a second, which I cut away. The butt ends. Take your 
Whip footage tool. Give it a whip. Do not put a lot of thread pressure. Don't pull it down on that thread too hard. You're going to play out the tail or the uh, wig. You don't want to do that. You're going to put some Sally Hansons on her anyway. Pull that beard down a little bit. There you go. Put some Sally Hansons. On the thread. All right, there you go. Get yourself a bucktail streamer. You got white, yellow, then brown. You got a little beard, little tail, and a copper wire body. Alright, hope you like this video. If you do, give me a subscribe, give me a like, tell me what you like or don't like about it. Take her fishing. Hope you have good luck with it, and I'll see you next time.